Okay, let's go down to the other field and have a look at some other gorgeous British motor cars. Oh my God, where do we start? We might even have to do a separate video just for the All British Day. There's 1,600 cars here. Amazing. Chris is working his way down the aisle. We panic, panic, panic bashed one of these ones as a kid, destroyed it. So I trashed one of these as a young bloke. I was always amazed how much interior space these little 1800s had. Bigger than most Commodores. Many cars, way too many cars. Can't have a look at some Triumph Stags, my next favourite. Always wanted a stag. There's 22 of them in the stag club here today, that's a pretty big deal. Version on it. <laughs> so the standard Stranglebergs. Seen quite a few 
modifications with a standard carburetor getting rid of the, the Strongbergs. This thing here's a good example for my Ruby Red XJS. How many K's on this thing? 120,000. It's a really lovely order. But so will Ruby when I'm finished with it. It's a 3.6 as well. Be nice if he gets it. So I'm just going to have a look at the P76s and then we might head back up to the Jaguars. Well, that's it, guys. I know that's rather short, but I was going to add all that, uh, all the other British cars 
onto the first video, but it was just going to make that video too long and it would stretch out so much. So I divided it into two videos. However, I should have been down there longer to take, oh, I only went over a little bit of those. I think it was only 1500 cars at the end um, and they sprawled everywhere. But I wanted to get back up to the Jaguar tent. Just I had to catch up with a few old mates that I wanted to see because we were leaving pretty early. So I cut that short. But um, we saw you saw what what it's like. Uh, uh, thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that tells you you've already watched it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. That really helps my channel. See you guys.